Hi everybody, my name is Spamos. Welcome to Shiver. This is a point and click indie horror. We're on our way to visit our father in a retirement home. We pass through a national park covered in snow. We get stuck there. It's the 1990s. We ain't got internet. We ain't got no mobile phone to call for help. So if we're gonna survive the night, we gotta work out a way to, to, to survive the night. So, without any more stalling, <laughs> let's begin. The retirement community is still a few hours away. I hope Dad isn't too lonely there. I'm having a really hard time keeping my eyes on the road. I've been driving for hours. Cigarette would help right now. Go on, have a smoke. So we've got cigarettes and we got a lighter. So, pow pow. Dude, the car is filling with smoke. I don't smoke. If you smoke, stop smoking. Oh, here we go. We've got a coupon. 50% off your next purchase of 12-pack. Knee, whoa! That's some energetic water. So we're speeding, blazing it up in the car with some banging 90s beats. Ah! There was something in the road. Well, that escalated quickly, didn't it? Uh, I think I, I fed my arm is broke. Yeah, things have gotten considerably worse, and that wind sounds horrible. I got a rock! My mixtape! Not my mixtape! Give me my mixtape! Honk the horn. No, glove box. No, the windshield. It's a bit broken. Get that rock. Smash it! Dance! Escape! My arm is definitely broken. I need to get help. This barrier is supposed to stop cars going over the edge. I've just smashed right through it. Newspaper weather report. How convenient. A blizzard. Hang on. A blizzard is rolling in and expected to hit on Tuesday the 13th. Authorities advise individuals remain indoors and under no circumstances attempt to drive. It's February 12th. Storms drew on the 13th. Dear God, it's arrived early. Oh my God. My car's a wreck. I'm lucky I even survived the crash. The embankments. There's no way I can climb up there in this state. There must be a way around. Let's go hiking through a national park in a blizzard with there's weather warnings to not go outside. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about the poison ivy in this weather. Okay, so we can go right or we can go left. Left looks like more established. Windy Oaks National Park. Let's go. Windy Oaks. Where are the oaks? The oaks are listening. The sign and mine. The sign looks like it's due to be replaced. Okay, so the left is a mine and then to the right. There's something caught in the tree. I can't quite reach it. Information center on the right. The grand opening of the Windy Oaks National Park Visitor Center. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look-see. Grand? Maybe. Open? We're working on it. Oh, there's a closed sign. Closed until further notice. For concerns and questions, please contact Ray Holden, provincial, uh, provin provincial. Yeah, okay, with well, the close that. That sucks for me because I could really use that open. Filthy and empty inside. I can relate. A heavy duty lock, not a very welcoming sight. I can see the insides through the glass. What is this? Ah, ha, ha, ha. A hatchet. I feel better with a hatchet in my hands. Oh, snap. Okay, we've got a property of Lupus and Associates Birthday Magicians and Generators Limit Rental. Okay, so we've got a generator without gas. So I guess we're going to find some gas for the generator at some point. Have a rubber hose to siphon fuel from something, I guess. Can I smash the lock with the hatchet? This lock, the lock is much too thick to cut through. Dude, if you're like freezing to death, you break a window. You know, you get in that building. There's nothing that will prevent me from getting in that building. Oh, wait, were those footsteps always there? Or are they my footsteps? I feel like they're my footsteps. Can I use the hose? To like, that doesn't work. Oh, look, the tree's weak. Looks like it's rotting from the inside. Yo, yo, let's cut this tree down. Hatchet. Timber! Couple swings with my good arm did the trick. It's an old scrap of coat. I found a key in the pocket. Oh, snap! How did this jacket get torn apart? That's a question one doesn't want to ask. A sturdy key. All right, let's go back to the visitor center. Sturdy key. Yes! All right, whoever locked the door took a couple of steps down the path and then had a big rip taken out of their chest pocket. It's just as cold in here as out. It's just as cold in here as it is out. Sure, but at least you're out of the wind chill. You're out of the actual stop it, stop a uh, little of the snow dropping. The Nero mineral water. An empty two liter Nero water bottle. We can use the hose and the bottle to collect some fuel. Josh, I need you to call me as soon as you find this note. I don't know what kind of prank you're trying to pull, but you can't just disappear with two guests in the mine. Police have been contacted and they want to start a proper investigation when the storm dies down. This is a very serious situation. So please. Please contact me at once and I'll be over to sort everything out. You can call me using the radio in the back room. I know you have Samantha's cards to get in. When you do, that'll be over within minutes. 
Right, so we had two guests in a mine and a guy went missing. Wildlife, a warning. Stay safe and do not fear the animals. Call sign book. Park watchtower call signs. That could be useful. I should probably take that or leave it there. Okay, well, there's a radio in the back room. Oh, we got food! It's... Oh, the clock scared me. A stashed bottle? Latvian Soviet Socialist Republic 913 proof vodka. Looks like someone needed to loosen up. We got vodka. Can we use vodka as fuel for the other generator? I'd rather avoid this for now. I've heard they can give you cancer. It's a microwave. Do, do people still not trust microwaves? All off-brand snacks. Oh, sorry. Are you too precious to have an off-brand snack? Card reader. Doesn't seem to be any power running to this card reader. Okay, well, we need to get a card for the card reader. Couch. They must have gotten it used. It's seen better days. So we got the rubber hose, vodka, empty bottle, lighter, and stuff like that. I wonder if we can just pour the vodka straight into the generator. Uh, oh, God, frick. Somebody just threw something at the window and it made a crack. How did this happen? Is someone here? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's double back. Here's the rock that was thrown at the window. I think this is the rock from the car. How to get here? We used the rock to get out of the car that, uh, after crashing. So someone's followed from the wreck of the car here. Okay, well, could, let's, just, let's try the vodka. So empty hose. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, let's just go straight for the vodka. I don't think this would work. I'm sure I can find some gasoline somewhere. Okay, don't drink vodka. See if I care. All right, let's back it up. Back it up. Let's continue towards the mine. So there's two people. There was two guests down in the mine. That tree has a really suggestive hole. <laughs> a grate. Faint rancid breeze blows through the gates. I mean, can I use my axe? Hatchet, rather. That doesn't work. Let's continue on our way forwards and left. The bleak flat mines. Ha ha, watch your head. Why ha ha? It's dark in there. Oh. A lantern? An empty lantern. I wonder if I can find some fuel for it. <gasps> Couldn't the vodka be the fuel? Waste of vodka, but it should do the trick. Yes! And then lighter for that. Nice and bright. Al, sorry to let you know like this, but I'm done. I'm going home and not coming back. I gave my keycard to Josh to look after. I can't keep going into that mine. It's seriously freaking me out. The darkness and sounds honestly make me wonder if something is down there. That combined with all the stories Josh keeps telling me about the mint miners that were never found during that sink whole disaster is more than I can handle. So here's my notice of resignation, Samantha. Okay, so Sam quit, gave Josh a key card. We need that key card. The elevator has no power. Okay, we need power still. I need fuel to get the power going. Can I turn around? No? Okay, let's back outside, I guess, then. And then back in, back outside. <gasps> and then back it up. I enjoy point, uh, point and click horrors. I think they're kind of amazing. <laughs> Kind of a, especially this game set in the 90s, where the 90s arguably being kind of like the peak of the original point and click adventures. I guess we could double back to the car because the rock came from the car. All right, here's the car. Gas tank. My gas cap stayed on. Must still be a few liters in there. All right, rubber hose on the gas tank. And then we use an empty water bottle. Pow! Tastes and burns like gasoline. Okay, we've got a water bottle full of gasoline. All right, let's double back. We've not gone to the right. We'll maybe check that out in a little bit. I swear to God, though, if someone breaks my lovely window, that's going to let all the heat I'm about to make go out. I will not be happy. All right, gasoline. I filled the generator with gas. Now I just need to start it. It didn't start. Must try a few times. Okay. Generate started. I should get inside and see if I can contact help somehow. Can I take the rock? I'd feel better having the rock. Never mind. Okay, well, uh, the power's on. Looks like there might be a radio behind that door. I wonder if I can get in. The door sealed shut with some sort of electrical lock. Okay, so a uh, key card. So maybe the mine has power now. So if we double back into the mine. Oh, what a conundrum this is. Like, you're in a storm. You're already in a survival situation. Now you've restored power to a building, but then to get further through the building, you have to go into an underground mine where miners went missing in order to search for a random key card. Look about a needle in a haystack. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a welcoming sight. Okay. Bing bong. Going down into the mine. Bing bong. Here we go. Just eyes of oh the lights going out. It's probably not the smartest idea to use an elevator 
given the generator could go out at any seconds. Oh, we've gone deep. Ding bong. Yikes. A button. It's broken. Okay, well, we have our lantern. That seems to be on by default, so that's handy. Can't go left. Let's go deeper. A beer can. That's a great sign. Bear bottom extra dark. Think I can find a place to recycle this? Why am I recycling a mine? A jackhammer. Some pretty heavy construction is underway. Looks like they're turning this into a tourist attraction. The mysterious mines. Explore where the miners once worked and went missing, never to be found. Warning tape. A boot. It's a heavy duty work boot. Why leave just one boot behind? These bricks look less worn than the others. I can feel air being drawn through the gaps. Yeah, they've bricked up something there. We've taken the warning tape down a lock. Looks like a pretty sturdy latch. I'll need to think of something clever. I mean, can I, can I hatch it this? No. No, I can't. These bars look like solid iron. Much newer than the weathered stone archway. All right, what's down here? Yo. <laughs> it's Mort the Mole, everybody! Hello? <gasps> oh, dang it. What the hell was that? We just stole somebody's screwdriver. They, they just tried to get it back is what it was. Okay, we got a screwdriver. Handy. The Bleak Flats mine was closed in 1948 following a disastrous mine collapse prompted by the unexpected opening of an enormous sinkhole within the central excavation area. Miners and equipment alike were swallowed by the earth, leading to a multi-day rescue operation. Only three of the two dozen missing miners were recovered alive. The Bleak Flats collapse led to a strike and the combined cost caused the mine to formally shut down just three months later in March of 1949. The land on which the mine sits has now been bought and sold several times until generously donated by Samstone Mining Corporation for use as a national park. So we've got a map on the right, undergoing safety renovations opening June 1991. So we've got number four, that's where the elevator is, that's where we started. We went to number five. I don't know what these numbers mean because there's no annotation to say what they mean. Number six, audio guide stops, okay. So we're at number six right now. Number seven, you can see the dotted line going forward and to the right. And then there's a path going left. So I guess the path left is that locked iron door. And I guess the dotted line is that bricked up area. It's a ventilation shaft. Oh, that's going to go to that smelly bar pipe thing by the oak tree that we saw. The rust on these old tools is formed through a process known as oxidization. Iron oxide gives Mars its red color and can be mixed with aluminium powder to form thermite, a mixture that can be used to weld together mining rails. Thermite melts right through metal and people in seconds. Ha ha ha. But is that a clue? for me to make some thermite or are you telling me how to murder someone <laughs> mort the mole has now got a human eye all right i'm mort the mole it's an old coffee grinder shame it's out of coffee yeah i'm gonna grind some iron oxide to thermite thing the old mine cart's covered in rust how handy nothing over there okay i think we're done in here got the screwdriver array i back it up some pretty heavy constructions underway okay can I unscrew this lock? Maybe if I had a book, a bobby pin as well, I could pick it, but something tells me I just won't find one down here. Okay, a beer can. My guy wanted to recycle the beer can for some reason. We're gonna grind the coffee can on the, uh, uh, uh beer can on... There we go. I've ground the can as finely as possible. Okay, so I've got aluminium dust. Okay, we've got a rusty minecart. Can I scrape some rust off this? I've scraped off as much rust as I can. Reminds me of dad's car. Yeah, aluminium dust and iron oxide. I'm hoping I don't regret this. I've now got thermite. Thermite on the lock. Here goes nothing. And now the lighter. It's a cool little visual effect. The lock is heavily damaged. A solid blow should be able to break it. I've been trying to hit everything with the hatchet. The time has come. Yes! My hatchet broke. No! What will I use to hit things with now? Bar should have moved more freely out the way now. Okay, here we go. And deeper into the mine, we shall go. Well, considering that door was locked, we should be pretty safe. All right, we've got three passageways, left, middle, and to the right. I'm gonna go left. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, no, there's a map. Oh, I need to go back to my mole man. Mort, hi, I need your map. Right, left, right, forward, left. 
Right, left, right, forward, left. This is like Monkey Island level puzzle right here. Right, left, right. <laughs> there was a thing. There was a man. I kind of want to do it wrong so I can see the man again. We can go slower this time. So right. Left. I saw I saw a man. I did. I swear I did. Right. And then left. Well, we've made it to the big sinkhole of 48. An axe. Difficult to handle with one hand, but heavy enough to do some damage. An old minecart. Looks like nobody's been here in years. A vent. This ventilation shaft might lead to the surface, but it's hopelessly out of reach. Oh. What the hell? Is that a jacket? In the wall? With blood dripping down? There's a card in the pocket. That's Josh. I need to leave. I need to leave. Did I take the card? Okay, I've got the cards. A Ranger ID card. What is that? That is legs? So leaving would be easier if the elevator worked. Okay, well, we found the dead body of Josh. Whoever killed him locked him in here. Uh, maybe we can use the pickaxe on the elevator thing. Wait, I don't remember this. I'm gonna do it backwards. It was right, left, right, forward, left. So doing it backwards would be right to the middle. Right. Right, left, right, and then left. And <laughs> then we're doing it. We're heckin' smart. We're the smart party. Let's go! Yes! How did I end up here? I need to get out. Right, can I use the pickaxe on the button? That doesn't work. Oh, I know what we can use the pickaxe on. Okay, the, the bricks. We can uh, put it through one of these holes and pry it open. Okay, that worked really easily. And we are passing through Satan's butthole, everybody. Okay, pushing deeper. So this is a ventilation shaft. It's going to come up by that oak tree. Yep, we've got the screwdriver. We can get out of here. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And again, scratch, 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 scratch. And squeeze! The forest feels somehow darker than before. Uh, okay, well, the oak tree is opening up a bit further, I think. I can re-enter there. I don't really want to go back in there, if I'm honest. There's a smiley on the tree. That carving was not there before. Okay, well, we've got the key cards. Let's go to the welcome center. Yeah, it's getting darker in here. I guess turning the lights on would, like, waste power. The ranger key card. Beep. I think I heard the door unlock. You did. Oh, turn a light switch on, sir. Emergency radio. We've got a note. Josh, what the hell did you do with the emergency call sign book from the radio? Oh, okay. I need to get the call signs. Got some fireworks. We'll take those. Not exactly a flare, but I think it could work. Confiscated equipment. Right, 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 right. Another note. Death and dismemberment call sign. One. Tune the frequency to the marked number. I circled it in red pen after taking apart the case. Hopefully, I put everything back where it was supposed to go. Number two. Set the call sign to our closest ranger tower. Logan Watchtower. Flip the switch. After you've done this, just shoot a flare by the highway and somebody will be there fast. Fast and you can say, ah, stop the bleeding okay so logan watchtower okay well let's go back to the book if somebody threw the rock at the window somebody is with us we haven't seen them for quite a while now so i think if they were gonna make a move it'll be soon uh logan watchtower park call signs page is missing i gotta go outside again and find the okay let's just try using the radio for well, logan watchtower so l w t this isn't quite right. I should try again. Tune the frequency to the marked number. I circled it in red pen after taking apart the case. Hopefully I put everything back. Circled it in red. Oh, okay. Number 17. There we go. That's the frequency. Logan Watch Tower. Hit the switch. Hello, Josh. Is that you? You're not coming through. Oh. Light a flare by the highway so Al can locate you. Over. He was really quick on the go. Like... I'm, he's like on top of that radio. Like, hi, oh, Josh. Hi. Okay. Right, right, right. We're nearly safe. We're nearly safe. My 
face camera was in the way. This game likes putting scares on top left. I'm just saying. There was a man behind my face. It looked like, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's an artist impression of what I saw in the doorway. You're welcome. Okay, light the flares, save the world. I don't know, getting out of this building is not gonna be as easy, I think, as it seems. Okay, no monster so far. No monster so far. It's getting darker. We've not even taken this right path yet. Okay, we're at the car. A uh, Roman candle? My uncle lost a finger like that. I should find somewhere to place it. Where do I place it? Attach it to the gas tank? Okay, let's take the right hand path. What are you? Please no, that's my only way out. There was a weird thing humping the ground. I need a distraction. A loud noise near the highway. Okay, right, right, right. Firecrackers. This is gonna make a lot of noise. I should be ready to run. I have to get out of here. Oh God, yep, going, going. Okay, uh, handicap parking sign, trash bin, old floor wrapped, okay, uh, an outhouse. It's exactly like you expect in there. Snow covered bike, frozen sod, no one's getting around in that. Okay, uh, notice sign. Don't forget, check out Mort's mine, go to the visit center for. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, I'm back on top of the road. A snow pile. Okay, Roman candle in the snow. I should hold it in place. Lighter. Let's do this! Flares activated! Josh! Al, whoever you are, help me! Isn't it dangerous, like, fire flares in a national park? Like, doesn't it start fires or something? So we're just gonna stand here. And hope the monster doesn't get us? Oh, hi! Ah! Oh! Holy, uh... Are you alright, son? Hi! Shiver! That was awesome. I legitimately really liked that. That was a really fun, cool little game. It kind of looped in a sense. Us crashing at the beginning was because we saw something in the road. So we veered off the road and then cut to the very end. We're stood in the road. It's It runs into the road and causes a car to crash into it, luckily. That was really fun. I get the puzzles were not too difficult, but at the same time, they weren't stupidly simple to the, the point of being just nothing. The environment was fun to explore. There was some lore, like with the whole uh, sinkhole and the miners going missing, the staff quitting. There was a dead body. What the frick was that all about, you know? And like the visitor center, the ground humper at the end. Dad should be back in a minute. Oh, we made it to the retirement home as well. Yeah, it was a really pleasant game. Really pleasant horror game. Um, would love a lot more like this. I, I'm gonna check out the developers, see if they've made some more games, because I would like more things like this. I legitimately like this a lot. Looks like Windy Oaks is closing. The paper talks about disappearances and the mysterious vandal. The sun's almost up. Looks like the weather's clearing up too. It's been like hell. Oh, hey, Dad. Sorry, I was lost in thought. And it's over. Eee! All right. Well, that's it. We're done. Bye.